Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show this very powerful cinematic grainy kind of effect plugin and you all can just get it for free and it's under the description and you can just download and install later. But firstly, please remember to just comment and tell me what next plugin you wanna see so I can create for you guys. And remember to subscribe and like this video. And how do we install? First of all, remember to just download and unzip the pack and just select this folder as you can see there are three subfolders inside but just copy the uh, original one and go to go home movies motion templates and effects just paste this folder over here restart the final cut pro and just go to the effects tab it's supposed to be there you can see there are three giant pandas over here drag first one say eight milliliter grains on the first clip here and instantly you can see there's a really grainy feeling these eight millimeter grains are actually meant to be seen so you don't really need to enlarge them but just for the sake of showing you guys i'm gonna enlarge this viewer to be 150 percent and you can see that the entire screen the entire image is being very grainy so if you like this you can just use them if not, if you want to create a more realistic one for a smaller screen, I suggest you use 16ml grains effect. Because this effect under the 150% kind of a view screen is not so obvious, you can be, it can be felt but it cannot be fully seen. You have to enlarge it to say 200% to slightly see the difference of those grains present in the film. So this is creating a sort of a more realistic kind of metallic particle effect that you can see from the silver prints of the films that you watch, you know, normally. As you can see at 400%, it's still not very obvious. Lastly, I'm going to show the 35ml grain. As you can see at 400%, it's still not very obvious. It can be felt, of course, but as you can see, the whole screen is sort of grainy, but you can actually see the distinct particles. So at 600%, it's you know still grainy, but yeah, it's kind of fine grains. So if you are using a bigger, much much bigger screen, I suggest use these 35 milliliters screens. I'm gonna show you another example. At 150%, you can't actually see anything for the 35 milliliters grain and uh, yep this resolution is actually meant for 4k 24 fps it actually works well with other fps and supposedly with lower resolutions or slightly higher resolutions i'm not sure about 8k but 5k i think it's still possible and of course as you realize after the grain the image is a little bit dark so you can just apply a color curve and adjust the luma curve over here uh, yeah, and, and you can create a, a sort of a more cinematic effect and just to illustrate for you guys as you can see from this uh, screen there are three grains over here 8 milliliters is super gray 16 is slightly gray translucent 35 is almost transparent and once you hit play you can see the difference over here and yep, I'm gonna zoom in and show you guys a little bit better. And I'm just gonna zoom in to say 200%. And I'm gonna show you the 8 millimeter ones. So this one is really like those bad TV effects or like old TVs. 16, slightly better. And it's almost as fine as 35 millimeters. But yeah, it can be felt and seen. But if you go to the 35 millimeters uh, grains, it's almost. Yeah, you can just sort of feel it, but you can't actually see it. So maybe I can zoom in to 600% to show you guys. And yep, that's about it. It's a quite a powerful effect, you know, plugin for you guys, especially if you're creating those cinematic looks for your videos. And again, please remember to subscribe and like this video and drop a comment on which whatever plugins you want to see next up. And that's all. Bye bye.